Max, ne? Okay, let's get going guys. I've got my profiler settings at basically default and I'm using 900 degrees with wheel rotation. I mean 900 degrees wheel rotation. <laughs> I love the turning a lot kind of vibe. I won't recommend going beneath I would say 540 degrees then your steering wheel will be too way too responsive. Unless you're gonna play with like a Formula One all the time or something like that then go ahead but if you're just gonna use like a casual car 900 degrees um, is the way to go so basically the only thing that I've changed here is the wheel rotation and I also made sure to enable center spring um, let's hop into the game and I'll show you guys my in-game settings settings wheel and force feedback so the settings here are as follows I've got my strength at 100 because I feel like there's not a lot of force feedback responsiveness in this game if that's even a word um, but yeah you can't really feel the force feedback quite as hard as in majority of other games so I've got that pumped all the way up and I also got my tone up it's basically the only settings that you can change so vibration guys this is just like a fake feeling so it is not like accurately coming from the road it's just like lucky packet I mean it's it's fake it's it's it just put it off so menu spring strength this is set to 15 and I've got no idea what this does I believe this is just how like tight the wheel feels in the settings menus and stuff so I don't care about this I don't think this is important um, the dead zones you want at zero for steering um, throttle dead zone I've got at two percent um, this stuff is set at default so brake sensitivity guys I put at 60 and the reason for that is just so I've got more pressure when I brake because I tend to not brake as hard as I should and uh, this basically forces me to brake harder because it is more sensitive as the setting states so clutch guys I've got at 75 and the reason for that is I don't want to be pressing the clutch all the way in say I'm shifting really fast then if I did not have the clutch all the way in the gear would still not slip so this is basically just not a, I don't want to say a cheat but it's like a button clutch and in a race car I would pretty much like a button clutch so if you put your clutch sensitivity high then your car would act as if it has a button clutch yeah that's it guys that's all the settings I can't find any more to tune so I guess there's only two of them but I'll put in a gameplay clip here oh crap my GPU is at 93 degrees guys I forgot to put my GPU fans on there we go <sighs> almost fried my GPU yeah I'll put in some gameplay for you guys so if you want to support me you can uh, go ahead and check my other videos as well I also did a GTA video and I've got this green screen thing going on and I think it's cool.